Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 where we are playing the nation of Argentina on its course to greater glory. I think we're doing really good. We have uh, great relations with all of our neighbors. Uh, we checked that last time but just to show you. Yeah, the worst one being Paraguay which we will improve now then in Brazil. Uh, and generally we're doing great. Practical steam engine is halfway through, our population is increasing, uh, we're making sure that our administrative efficiency is pretty damn good, so I'm, I'm happy about how we are doing right now. I hope you guys are so too. Or R2. <laughs> R2D2. <laughs> I'm trying to encourage the capitalists in Buenos Aires because that gives them a possibility to start doing something. Uh, I don't know if the project can really fund. Yeah, but you can see the investors. It No, it's not increasing all that much, but they bought all the fucking cement that's there. So let them have that. France, the Paris Protocol. After weeks of negotiations, the Conference of Diplomats in Paris has reached a conclusion. Greece must have its independence. Okay. Oh, Crete is independent too. The powers agreed that a sovereign Greek state should be established. It will rule southern Greece and some western Aegean islands, but its territory will be kept small. The empire's other predominant and Greek territories will remain under direct Ottoman rule. Conference other participants now await the response of the Greek delegates. Nice. Those still no Belgium, just Netherlands. Hey, who's Oh Belgian nationalist? Okay, so Belgium is having maybe its moment soon. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, now the more pressing issue that we should focus on now is what are we going to do after the practical steam engine is done. I'm thinking experimental railroad or basic chemistry. Basic chemistry though would be probably better. Yeah, I think basic chemistry. We're gonna go with basic chemistry. We need that. And then experimental railroad. Publishing industry would be good. Uh, but experimental railroad in the end gives us a bit more. And mechanized mining, we really do have such a little output to begin with so that's just not good oh hey we got what we need to increase relations allied with Chile I kind of don't like them being allied together but uh, as long as we keep the relations high it is very likely that no one will attack us okay we can now get four regiments of regular army and six regiments of Extra armor. Okay, we have too many bureaucrats there. So let's move you to Argentinian Chaco. Oh, that one is done. Okay, Rio Negro then. Yeah, that one could use a bit freshening up. 85.6. I think it's generally okay, but I'd like to keep it a bit higher. We need to, because uh, that's what funds us, you know, the income from that. We're still missing a bit, uh, but as the education is increasing, I think most of our... Yeah, like, this Northern Territory is still at zero local education. What? Uh, let's do a little check of that. Region map mode. So you have zero. Okay, Juju has 10%. You have 10%, you have 10%. Well, oh, pretty much everyone. Okay, so uh, Entre Rios, Juju, and uh, Resistencia have zero. Much should improve. I don't think we have a map mode for Education efficiency or literacy. No, it's not there. Reform rally. Sure. People have taken to the streets in one of our states, exasperated over the lack of political representation, and held a rally, 
calling on the government to institute political reform. While the rally has largely been a peaceful affair, several incendiary speeches were held during it, and tensions between conservatives and liberals are running high. Local aristocrats are calling on the government to condemn the speeches made at the rally and muster support for holding back political reforms to protect the established order. Supporting the aristocratic call means anchoring local progressives, but not doing it means angering both conservatives and aristocrats. Nope. We want to achieve reform. Who's not with us is against us. Okay, now, who's the next target of our campaign to make everyone happy? Turns out it's Brazil. Eventually these nations will start offering us alliances, which might be good for us. Uh, but first we need to get our budget in order. Oh, screw that! I have really messed that one up. That's too many. Okay, that should be fine. Come on, get to 100%. Oh, we're getting a decent number of capitalists. 592. Yeah, that's... Well, they're buying the machine parts and the bronze, so... Okay, Juju is done. Now I'm starting to think that it might be this place that needs more bureaucrats. No, no, no. That's okay. So let's focus on... Let's focus on the capitalists in both places. I think technologies would help us a bit with this, but it's fine. Oh, we have a nice amount of capitalists in uh, Entre Rios already. That's good. Come on, baby. Look at that income. And now when we get the practical steam mention, what it's going to do. Okay, we got it. Argeo throughput's done. And now, oh wait, no, 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 did we said, yeah, early classical theory, are nearly forgot, then everything else. 15% is gonna be a big thing. Oh, come on, kick in, game. 20% is a huge thing. Oh, that should have changed our income quite a lot, but it didn't. Maybe I messed something up. Yeah, but look at that, 47 cows per day. Yeah, but look at that, these spikes, that's what I was talking about. That's us being fine. And I think that Vinery might be done soon. <laughs> we'll see. So actually, what can we get from uh, the practical steam engine? Road ramp low, logging, okay, that increases timber, allied cement, and steam water pump. Oh, steam water pumps would be good. And there should be a lot of other things that we can't really get right now. Yeah, like the power room, that's wool. Precision saw, oh my god, but that one needs something else. Mechanical production, okay. It's fresh, oh, this one is good. Iron clad monitors and industry too. Oh, that would be good. But not now. Now we need research. This one is getting cheaper by the day. Cost money far from years now. Minus 9.9. .9. But we just reached 404,000 people. You have almost 200,000. Okay. And you have 241. I think they're growing about the same speed as we are. Oh no, just as... Birth rate very low. But education efficiency plus 25%. I guess at least that's something. Oh, this is uh, gonna hurt us in the long run. Damn, I don't like that. Hmm. I really don't like that. Rotherham Plow, here we go. The Rotherham of Yorkshire 
that the rather an or Yorkshire plow invented by Disney Staniforth and Joseph Fojambe was an improvement on the traditional plow. It was constructed of wood like the standard plow, but the fittings and cutter cutting blade were made of iron and the mold board and the plow share were covered in iron plates. It was lighter than the traditional plow and could be easily worked with a pair of horses. Grain production boost. I think we have only one grain producing province though. No, actually we we do have more. Where is the Hmm. Okay, we have these three. And Santa Louis plus Tranca Joaquin. Okay. So all of these produce that. Yeah, these are all cattle and wool come. Damn. And fish here. <laughs> okay. In the Arctic. I wonder when we're gonna get there. Uh, which neighbor now? Paraguay, definitely. Let's just keep them clear of us. Actually, that didn't change anything. I'm really surprised. Did we have that before too? It might be possible that we had such a low uh, birth rate before. That would explain it. And I can't remember. Okay, am I buying the machine parts and bronze? Do we want to... Wanted? A statewide manhunt has been called in one of our states as police report that a convicted murderer has escaped from a local prison facility. Oh my god. Well, unsettling in itself, the news has also brought our nation's prison system to public spotlight, fueling a national debate on the issue of crime and punishment. Liberals argue that the escape merely served as further in indictment of the dilapidated and tragic state of our nation's prison system, while conservatives point to a natural constraint on the national budget and argue that we should not spend the better part of our money on what is arguable, but the worst part of our citizenry. Search high. Search low. Search high. We have way less <laughs> rich people than the poor ones. Oh, nice. Steam water pumps. So, using boiling water to produce mechanical motion goes back over 2,000 years, but early devices were not practical. The Spanish inventor Geronimo de Ayans y Belmont patented uh, in 1606 the first steam engine. In 1698, Thomas Savare patented a steam pump that used steam in direct contact with the water being pumped. Savar's steam pump used condensing steam to create a vacuum and draw water into a chamber, and then applied pressurized steam to further pump the water. Thomas Newcomen's atmospheric engine was the first commercial true steam engine using a piston and was used in 1712 for pumping in a mine. Okay, so that helps with our production, but the problem is that we have so little people in these provinces that uh, produce, you know, whatever that is. Oh nice, we can get five regiments now, damn. Logging. Logging is the process of systematically harvesting a country's timber resources, replacing traditional methods of lumberjacking that relied primarily on disorganized groups of laborers, cutting down what trees they could find and selling the timber on the market in a manner similar to farmers. 20% boost on timber production. Okay, it's starting to be really interesting. But yeah, it's really the cattle. I don't know what produce what gives us the slaughterhouse. I think it's something that I wasn't expecting, like guild based production. Oh yeah, it's the guild based production. Okay. That one would be good because we could build the slaughterhouses. Uh, okay, Paraguay. No, actually, let's go with Bolivia. Greece goes bankrupt. What a surprise. Russian restoration of order to the Polish provinces. 
Coming to some bone like Warren Suvaki, Mazuvia, Monia, and Senator Bowen. Wow, they really want this to happen. Messinian liberation of Bum Bambara Eastern Mali. Siamis restoration of order to Vientane and Champasaki. Okay, so we need we know that war. Acquisition of Ottoman Tripoli. How's the situation looking for CM? Yeah, they're taking it back. They don't have the Cambodia though. We should keep an eye on CM just for good measure and seeing how they do. Okay, but there says it eleven percent. Uh, Monocross is dropping a bit, but I'm really, I really like the idea of having the a large amount of uh, capitalists though, because they can fund things like these, especially when we get the railroad. Almost all of the machine parts are there. Bronze though, not really. Come on, you guys. Oh, you have it almost. Major discovery. Allied. Allied is a name for tricalcium silicate. It is the major and characteristic mineral phases in Portland cement. Hmm. Increases cement production and throughput. Oh, nice. Final. Local education plus 10%. So that leaves two more, right? With. Zero, yeah, you and you. We should maybe focus on those. What are these? Uh, Malin. Oh, liberals are getting stronger. That's good. Uh, let's see if we could encourage clergymen here. Oh, yeah, we really need to. These provinces are desperately behind. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea, really. I think these are two of our smallest provinces, but uh, they will... Wait, actually, no, that's wrong. Um, you need to get... Wait, is it you? Yeah, you need to get the, 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 the clergyman from the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and we get the early classical theory and critique. Factory input research plus 15%. 8.45, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, these are one of our smaller ones, but still okay. So we got uh, the complete culture. Now, what do we do? Well, industry would be good. Uh, I'm thinking... Man, though, this might be... Do we want to invest into that? Not yet. Uh, the muzzle loaded rifles are just great. They give such a huge boost to people. Strategic mobility is good too. What's army to new morale? Mobilization size. No, we need these two. So let's start with experimental railroad because that increases the RGO throughput greatly. And then. Oh, hey, what is this? Rio Grande do Sul. Uh, well, okay, they're at war with Brazil, so they're not gonna be around for much longer, but hey, they're there. <laughs> That's good, right? That is definitely good. So, let's increase relations with Brazil and be merry. I'd really like to get, though, some alliances with people. Spanish Peru still existing. Oh, Ecuador is there. That's good. Tax reform! Tax of... Oh my god, plus 5%. That is awesome. For five years. It's gonna make a big difference. And we got Jean Baptiste Say. Jean Baptiste Say was a French scholar Active in the field of political economy, in the bearer of Adam Smith, he also advocated economic competition and freedom of trade. He wrote the Traité d'Economie Politique, 
o simple exposition de la manière dont se fulment. <laughs> My French is horrible, guys. Blah, 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 blah. Originally published in 1803, I don't want to make fun of myself that much. Say's law of market was derived thus from his treatise, inherent in supply is where withal for which its own consumption. Hmm. But look at that, Gran Colombia is gone, we got Colombia, Ecuador and Venezuela. Venezuela. Spanish Cuba is still Spanish Cuba. Hmm. Well, good for them. Good for them. I'd really like to do some reforms though. 44 of the upper house is pro that, so that is actually a good idea. Lumber mill. Okay. Ah, uh, we're so close to getting reforms. Come on, we need more liberals in the upper house. Hey, and we got some positive numbers there. It must be the tax reform. Okay, now I want to see how our chances are for some of the alliances. Okay, political considerations. No. No. Not you. Oh, hey! We could get an alliance with Brazil. I think that's worth a try. Brazil is the strongest nation here, so... Let's see that. Yeah, Brazil! Brazil is gonna serve us well. That one is a good detrimental to all the enemy nations. And if we ever decide to attack one of our neighbors, Brazil might follow us. But definitely will protect us until, you know, there is a moment when uh, we get attacked. Claiming the Malvinas! Gain Falcon Islands! Oh my god! The island Malvina, uh, the Islas Malvinas, lie just off the eastern shore of Tierra del Fuego, and the Spanish Viceroyalty of the Rio de la Poda claim them as part of its territory. Since our independence, no nation has had real control of the islands, though whalers and sea hunters from a number of nations have continued to stop there for food, water and repairs. By claiming to continue the Spanish Viceroyalty's sovereignty, we could justify settling the islands for wool, fishing, and cattle. We should expand our territorial claim before another nation beats us to it. Yes! We get the Falcon Islands! Uh, 600 people live there, though. It's not entirely what I was hoping to see, but okay. <laughs> well, we got our first island! That is good. And we got Las Malvinas son Argentinas. We have finally liberated the Islas Malvinas from the Dejuro. We can now insist upon their proper name. Okay. Falcon Island renamed to Islas Malvinas. East of Magellan is renamed to Coast of Malvinas. Skin Prestige, okay. Coast of Malvinas. Nice. <laughs> 